If you love watches, you need to watch this video. A tale of how I sported 5 luxurious watches for $440 may not be the most exciting of stories, yet the story behind each of the 5 watches and how much they cost will get your palms sweating and veins throbbing. These cool watches take inspiration from some of the most famous and striking designs out there. They're like loving shoutouts to those big names pieces, mixing the classic looks with premium quality that doesn't break the bank. Each watch presented today is special in its own right. The links to the listings I got these watches from is in the description below the video, so make sure to check it out if you're after a sharp price. The order in which we will discuss these watches is we'll start with the most expensive piece and the last piece will be the least expensive. Let's get into it. Let's kick off with San Martin 0123. So this is an iconic watch, well a homage to an iconic masterpiece. This San Martin is a heavily inspired homage to one of the classical, if not purist centric, military diver tool watches of the 20th century, coming from Ben Roos Type 1. This design is almost iconic as it represents the American military dive watch. The Type 1 was practical and built like a rock. In fact, it resembles one in a handsome and masculine kind of way. Introduced back in 1972, it was issued to the most elite units of US Armed Forces. Their appearance may be understated, but their history and practicality are not. The bezel diameter is 41mm, while the case width is 44mm. This is a one-piece thick steel case with double dome sapphire glass, ensuring no distortions hinder the legibility on the dial. Inside we have a Japanese self-winding automatic, specifically the NH35, providing a 42 hours power reserve. The ceramic bezel insert is matte with numeral marked hours from 1 to 11. Minute dash markings track from 0 to 20. The dial is also matte black with lunar markers at each hour. A triangle at 12, battens at 3, 6 and 9. Dots for the remaining hours. The luminosity is uncompromised, clingy and long lasting. The cold blue light plays in line with the script of the watch. The sword hour hand works well with the hexagonal San Martin brand logo. There is no date, keeping the dial symmetrical and balanced throughout. The bezel is coarsely notched, making rotation convenient even if gloved. Bezel action is the best I have experienced to date. It's clinically precise. There is no backplay whatsoever. The clicks are prominent and deep. Resistance throughout the rotation cycle is impeccable and consistent. The bead blasted case amplifies the military nature of the watch, yet the gentle curves and angular flanks still manage to create interesting, if not muted, light play across the watch. The nylon strap gets bead blasted holes and a chunky sign clasp. This strap is actually attached via spring bars, so you don't lose out on any options for strap preferences. The screw down case back and screw and crown provide 200 meters of water resistance. Essentially, my first $140 are well spent. Let's continue with number two. Another San Martin, the Ghost Diver version two. So this watch is actually powered by Seiko NH35 as well, a Japanese self-winding automatic movement with 24 joules and 42 hours of power reserve. We get up to 200 meters of water resistance. Sapphire crystal is a given here. There are three color variations available, this black and a Kermit and Hulk homages. In the hand, it feels hefty and larger than it wears. With 40 mm diameter and a lug to lug length of 48 mm, it should fit even the slender wrists. The Hamash original is a special watch, no doubt. A timepiece that's become the gold standard for luxury diving watches, revered for its blend of elegance and ruggedness. Considering the original watch isn't just a tool for divers, it's a symbol of prestige, a piece of history on your wrist, recognized and coveted worldwide. It's the watch that's at home underwater as it is in high stakes business meetings. Hence, I want to ensure I'm getting a timepiece that can withstand my scrutiny and my bias. The Ghost Diver version 2 offers exceptional build quality and refinement that unfortunately cannot be matched by more budget counterparts. I know that because I've reviewed many of them. 
The high gloss mirror polishing on the flanks and outer faces of the Oyster style bracelet is consistent and even throughout. The brush links integrate with the head seamlessly due to matching fine vertical brush strokes. The 6.8mm screw and crown looks significant on the 12mm case height of this automatic piece. Bezel rotation is convenient and actually fun here. The clicking speech is higher than on the Benrus Hamaj, more pronounced, but because it's meant to be that way, not by chance or any other reason. The black ceramic insert is polished to a smooth and glossy shine to match the black enamel dial lying below the sapphire crystal. Mind you, the Cyclops is also sapphire crystal and the magnification factor is also spot on, enlarging the date window to fit the Cyclops frame edge to edge. 200 meters of water resistance is provided for. So this SN017 has actually set me back another $130. So what's our tally for now? 270 and we've got three watches to go. This is a monster, literally. A homage to one of the most iconic designs from Seiko. The monster design is divisive. You either love it or hate it. No in-betweeners here. For me, this tongue-in-cheek or thematic poke at diver watches is amusing. I like to think people don't go to Marvel movies for the acting. Rather the thrill, the chase, the chaos and emotional uplift. This frost monster homage is just that. Rugged features housed in steel shrouds, deeply grooved bezel and a jarring dial that actually lures you in with that 3D pop and crystallic patterns. The slab of sapphire crystal is housed below the bezel and covered with anti-reflective coating, ensuring you don't miss a beat of the sweeping seconds hand, pulsing with 6 beats per second with the aid of Seiko's NH36 automatic movement. The piece features a knurled screw and crown and screw down case back allowing for 200 meters of water resistance. This bad boy set me back another 100 bucks. So now we're at 370. Occasionally the matrix breaks. It glitches, irrationalities occur. These glitches can manifest as deja vu, anomalies or inconsistencies within the matrix. I have no other plausible explanation for this Pagani design PD1751's existence or the $55 price tag on it. A formidable homage that has evolved via Pagani Design's lens into a real stunner. The 37mm case diameter follows through with inverted end links to further minimize the lug-to-lug -lug length to just 43.6mm. The sizing is robust and essentially unisex. The features making this watch so unique lie in the box sapphire crystal and a sapphire crystal on the exhibition back. So essentially we are getting a sapphire sandwich watch with box sapphire crystal on top for $55. This is an automatic watch as well with 200 meters of water resistance. The gravy train continues with a balanced dial featuring beige numerals and baton indices for the hours, a black piano gloss dial accommodating distinct contrast and legibility. The screw down case back and screw and crown provide the 200 meters of water resistance. To top it off, a milled and signed clasp is offered on the bracelet. And so the tally so far is $425. We've got 15 bucks to spare, not much, and yet we managed to pick up a piece that's just wow. Let's talk about it. Not all gemstones are refined. Some are left unpolished. Uncut gems have a unique beauty. And my last gem will take you by surprise. It's always what's on the inside that counts, right? Well, I have found a 38mm bullhead homage that features a split second chronograph. There are three subdials on the main dial and they include a split second dial, a 0 to 60 second counter and a 0 to 60 minute counter subdials. With this watch, you can measure multiple time intervals simultaneously or if you need to record intermediate times while also continuing to measure the overall elapsed time. Let me show you how this works. So you kick off the chronograph. By pressing the right pusher, you read the split time. Pressing it again causes the stopped hand to catch up or retropant to the moving minute hand. And you can actually use this function multiple times. The price point here is $15, bringing us to $440 in total. Yet at this price point, the counterbalance of the highly complex mechanism is the alloy case. Frustrating? 
Well, not really, because for 15 bucks, you're getting very complex functionality. So $440 later, we get a watch collection that can cover any aspect of your everyday adventures. Whether you're in business meetings, on the golf course, at a tennis club, doesn't matter what you're doing, where you're working, this is the ultimate collection that is premium based on the materials, the functionality, and the complications. 440 bucks, that's all it takes. Because if you know the saying, bargain hunting is a hobby, but finding value is an art. So let's all go out there and find value in really awesome timepieces. Thank you for watching this review. If you did like any of the watches, I've left the links to the listings of these timepieces in the description below the video, so check them out if you're after a sharp price. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.